Well, the the touchy subject that that we dance into a little bit is when Jesus references James and Jude. So he says, no James and Jude, huh? Now, uh, there are varying degrees of interpretation over whether Jesus had siblings or not. So here's what I understand, and I'd love for you to help uh, clear it up. Our portrayal is James and Jude for sure existed. Whether they were his cousins or his brothers, there's there's no doubt that they existed and that they weren't fans of Jesus' ministry initially. Eventually, they became pillars of the church, but initially they were uh, skeptical or resistant to it. Give us a little bit of a, in, in, in the short amount of time, solve all of the theological, <laughs> theological discussion from the Catholic Church about Mary and her siblings. You have 10 minutes to go. I don't know if I can solve every issue, but <laughs> yeah. the, the Catholic Church would definitely hold in what we would say the perpetual virginity of Mary. Right. That is that she didn't have, that she and Joseph didn't have relations and they didn't have children right. after Jesus. Right. And that um, in part is supported because of a, you know, a tradition that goes back to apostolic times, but in part, it's to recognize the particular um, purpose and call that Mary had that was so specific to Jesus that it's, um, that, that other children or other kinds of things would have, would have been something that take, would take away from the mission that she had to be the mother of Jesus and all that went with that and, and all that she was. There's, there's a notion that Mary was probably present for much of Jesus' ministry, mm -hmm. um, as you portray in the in the chosen, but maybe even even more in Capernaum. But um, I thought you handled it very well. It is scriptural. And another way that people have tried to think about it would be that there were other children in the home, in the household, but that weren't even Mary and Joseph's orphans. You know, extended family that had come to live there because their parents had died, or. Um, or you know, we're away for some reason. But most Catholics would, would be would be really uncomfortable with the idea of Jesus having siblings by Mary and Joseph, and right. that hasn't been the teachings of the Catholic Church. Right. Yeah, the, the Protestant reading of those passages in the Gospels um, would tend to take them at face value. You know, hey Jesus, Mary and your brothers are out here mm -hmm. wanting to talk to you. And then it's Jesus who takes that word brothers and expands it. Well, no, the people who are listening to me, those, these people are my, my brothers and my mother and my sisters. And mm -hmm. so the Protestant takes you know, this report about his mother being right. his literal mother mm -hmm. and his brothers being his literal siblings right. um, and letting Jesus do the expansion. And then the, the passage that you reference in Matthew 13 um, where the names of Jesus' brother isn't this Jesus whose mother, whose brothers are with mm. us? Right. And uh, there's actually four of them yeah, are named Jude. there, yeah. um, and uh, James and, and Jude are among them. Um, so yeah, the Protestants are just satisfied with taking that all at the face value of uh, of those terms. 